Hello my poor holic friends, Lloyda here from loacrylicpainting.com. I am a pouring and bling addict. Welcome to my channel today. So in this video, I'm going to be teaching you how to color your crystals into any color that you want. So I have a video in which I showed you how to make these DIY crystals at home. So make sure that you check the rest of my videos inside my channel so that you can, if you want to learn how to make these, um, I have a video that teaches you how to, how to do that. So anyways, um, this video is going to be showing you how to color your crystals into a different color. So for example, if you grab something like this, which doesn't have any color at all. It's just, you know, it's just clear. And you might want to make a shade that it's not, that's not available. Um, maybe a magenta, maybe a fluorescent color, maybe a glow in the dark, or maybe like a metallic. You can go ahead and use this uh, technique to color your crystals, whatever color you want. So, for example, like these were already blue, okay? I These crystals, I did not color them because they were already blue before and they were just crushed into little pieces. Um, these were already green, but I'm going to try to color some of these into a different shade. So um, right here, even though these are already colored, I didn't want to go ahead and, you know, crush these all over again and you know I don't want to make more I'm just gonna color these if if this process works with these colored ones then it's definitely gonna work with some clear ones like these so let's just get started and see if this works um, I got a few comments I read a few comments on different videos saying that this worked and so I'm going to test this myself and we'll see if this is a big fail or if it's a success. So right now I have, these are the two alcohol inks that I purchased. So this is um, from Am Amsterdam, but there are other brands of alcohol inks. For example, I saw a person using uh, the brand Pinata. I have no clue where to find that. I haven't Googled it, but uh, there are different brands and, and it worked for her using the Pinata brand. So I'm going to try the Amsterdam since I know that this is a pretty good brand with good pigmentation. And um, the reason I chose this deep olive green is because I'm doing a geode that is going to have a, a green tint uh, or a green color but I didn't want the, the super light ones. So these are green, but they're super light. I want to make them into a darker green and I really couldn't find a dark green at the store. And so I'm just gonna color them myself and see if it works. Now, the shade that I want to get is not exactly this deep green. I want to be a little bit dark. Uh, I want the color to be a little bit lighter than this. So that's why I got also a white color so that I can combine these two and hopefully make a lighter shade. So I'm not sure if this is gonna work, but let's try it out. And I wasn't, I don't know if I should just like drop, put in some drops of my ink in there and then mix them up, or if I should mix them before and then put my crystals in. I have no clue. Let's just, I don't know, let's just, Add some green and some white and then mix it all up. Mix it all up and see how it goes. Okay, so I'm just gonna add a few drops of this alcohol ink. One, two, three. I'll just add three and then see if I need more. Let's add a little bit of white. One, two, okay. Let's mix them up. I think I probably need a little bit more ink because it thinks, I think 
I need more, yeah. Okay, I'm just gonna add a tiny bit more. But as you can see, they are getting colored already. So um, that's a good sign. Like I'm getting some darker green, you know, versus this light green. So I'm gonna add a little bit more. Four drops and maybe to the white. Okay. Oh, come on, where are you going? Yeah, there are some areas where the white, I mean, it, it's mixing in with the rest of the green. So I think it's okay if you just, like if you're trying to make a shade that maybe you can't find. So let's say you're trying to find um, a shade that you can't find in the alcohol ink, then, you know, just grab two different colors and mix them up and see what you get. Like maybe, you know, mix a blue and a red to get some sort of a, a purple shade if you can't find purple. Or maybe mix a, a lighter blue with black, with a little bit of black to make a, a darker shade of blue. Or mix a metallic with, you know, maybe a silver with blue to make some sort of a metallic color. So yeah, I, I'm pretty sure you can do that since that's that's working with this, you know, mixing the green and the, the white is working perfectly well with this. Now, what I'm gonna be doing is, I'm going to let these dry so that the alcohol ink sticks to the surface. And once they are dry, then I'm going to be using them on my, on my project, on my geode. Okay, so come on, where are you going? Come back in. Oh my gosh, they all want to just <laughs> jump out. Okay, let me just show you. So the only thing, the, the, the difference is that with this one, the crystals were a mix of green, and and white not white but clear color so but that's because the 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 gems or the yeah the crystal gems that i that i got were like that they were a mix of clear with green now the blue ones are all blue just you know they're completely blue because that's how the gems were they were completely blue with no clear in there. So that's why this one looks, they don't all look green. You know, it's a little bit of green and a little bit of clear. Now, if you compare these with these, now you can see that these are just all green, like no clear mix in there. But what I could do is that once I do my geode, if I want some of these clear ones in there, um, or these lighter green in there as well, I could just mix these two up and then I would have a combination of darker ones with some lighter ones. Um, I could even smash some of these babies up and just get some pure clear ones and mix those up with these dark ones. So yeah, you, got, you get the idea. You can play around with the colors that you want and this was just to show you if coloring them with alcohol ink actually worked and it does work like your rocks will get colored so there you have it now just let these dry uh, you can just leave them in the cup you don't have to spread them out in a piece of paper towel you can just leave them here and let them dry and once they they dry then you're free to use them on any of your acrylic pouring projects.